Hey guys, it's Desi So Play, and I'm back with another video. So today is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Unfortunately, I have class because nursing school don't care about your love life. They don't care about you and you and your boo spending time with each other. Like, it don't matter. So I am just coming to tell you guys that I'm on the way to my um, mental health class and then I'm going to my OB and Peace class right after that. And I also want to tell you guys that I just finished up my last mental health clinical rotation. And now we're about to start going to OB next. So I'm definitely going to vlog my OB um, first clinical with y'all. Like not actually in the hospital, but I'm going to just vlog my experience. But I just wanted to start the vlog early just to, um, because this week I'm going to my first peds lab. And that'll be fun to vlog. So I'm just going to bring y'all along with me for my week and we'll see how things go. Okay, so I just got done with class. It's about 5 p.m. So I went to mental health today and I went to... Um, OB. Well, actually, it's PEDS now because we've just transitioned from OB to PEDS. So I just started my first lecture on PEDS and learning like the physical assessment, the growth and development. So that was really cool. And then with mental health, I learned about anxiety disorders like OCD, um, PTSD, all that. It was a really interesting class. So now I'm on the way to get my food. I'm getting me some Mexican food. I told y'all it is Valentine's Day and I don't got no man, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, I always think Valentine's Day is just like, it's a good time to just show the people that you love that you love them. So even if you don't have somebody, some significant other, spend time with your family, the people that you care about, your mama, whoever you love, spend time with them and appreciate them. Show, show them that you love them. And just wise words that if you're dealing with somebody and he ain't get you nothing for Valentine's Day, leave him, period. <laughs> for real though, like somebody that cares about you will try to make you feel special on certain days. Even if they don't really believe it, they'll make you feel special. So if they're not making you feel special, dump them. But I'll see y'all when I go get the food. Right, so it is Wednesday, February 15th and today is like a strictly study day y'all i have a mental health exam on no not monday tuesday next week so i'm about to get my little study guide started up i have not been studying for this exam at all because i've had so many assignments to do like this semester is full of busy work like we got clinical and then we got so many assignments and i'm just like i'm not used to all these little tiny assignments coming up like i'm used to mainly just studying so the fact that all these assignments are just piling on top of each other is starting to really get to me so last night i submitted the majority of the assignments that i needed to do this week so now i could strictly focus on just studying for this mental health exam i'm meeting my friend at the um school so we can just study a little bit and then that's it so i'll show y'all the footage of that and y'all see you. okay y'all i got something to tell y'all that i did last night and you tell me if i'm wrong or not because this situation is just ridiculous and i feel like it's something that is funny it, it should probably be a story time but i'm not even gonna give this man no story time so um so i have to give y'all a background story because this situation is just weird so it was this guy that i used to talk to back in 2019 y'all mind you we're in 2023 right now okay so this guy I used to talk to for less than two months in the summer and I was bored mind you at this time I was 18 freshly 18 and this guy was probably like 22 which was already red flag number one right so um, I'm gonna tell y'all how the situation just pretty much ended so when we first started texting I didn't really think it was gonna go anywhere mainly because he lived about 50 minutes away from me and I was 18 and I just got my license because I got my license kind of late y'all I did not know how to drive but I got my license at 18 and I did not have a car yet I got my car I believe on my 19th birthday or something like that so I didn't have a car and I was just like I'm not trying to you know be talking to some man that lives an hour away I'm not coming out there to see him I didn't expect him to be driving an hour to come see me so I really just thought that we were just in a taxi relationship at this point I was bored y'all right so one day um because for a long time he was always just like come see me come see me and I was just like no it's not gonna happen so one day he was like you know what I'll take that drive to come see you so I was like 
like, okay, cool. So we ended up linking up one time. The vibes was cool. He was a very cool guy. So I was like, okay, I started actually liking him. So so we just continued our little texting and talking to each other, getting to know each other. And he was very consistent, like with texting. Everything was cool. So on the second time that he said that he wanted to see me, mind you, it was always him wanting to see me. It really wasn't me pressed to see him. Like, keep it right there. So, he texted me and was like, okay, can I come and see you? Or he said something on the lines of, do you want me to come see you? And I was like, sure. Like, if you want to come, then cool. So, he was like, um, but first, you got to send me $17 in gas money. And then he cashed, he sent me a cash at request, y'all, for $17 so that I can give him some gas money. Now... Mind you, I'm 18 years old. I believe I was working at the movies at this time. I'm, I'm broke. I'm 18. And you're a 22-year-old grown man asking me for some money. Like, I'm not saying that I'm not willing to give the man that I'm talking to no money. But honestly, I'm not willing to give the man I'm talking to no money. Honestly, I'm not willing to do it. Maybe if we was locked in for like a long time and, and he fell on some hard times, then maybe I would consider it. But if we're in the talking stages and you think I'm going to give you some gas money, you could forget it. You could really forget it. So, I declined his request on Cash App and I was like, don't even worry about it. Like, no, nah, I'm good. I was like, that's weird. Like, I straight up was telling him, I was like, you're, you're 22, you grown. How you asking me for some money and you want to see me? Like, make it make sense. So, that was like the number one thing that made me like say oh I will never date him I would never take him serious because that was so weird so he tried to come back up and was like oh I'm just playing I'm just playing like but I'm like you're not playing you were dead serious you sent me a cash out request but he knew the way I reacted it was never going to happen so he ended up finding a way to still come and see me now I don't now I should have just canceled the whole thing and been like don't even worry about coming to see me because you just weird but y'all I was young and I was dumb so whatever so we hung out that one last time and during that time I kind of knew it was gonna be the very last time because I just knew I wasn't feeling him after that but but another thing is that he was going to college I believe he was in his um, junior year of college or something like that and he was going back to college and his college was like two three hours away from where I lived at so I already knew like I'm not trying to be in a long distance relationship but I asked him I was like you know are we gonna still continue to talk while you're in school or or do you just want to do your thing in school like let me know and he was like yeah I still want to talk to you I still want to be with you like blase blase just lying and I kind of knew it was a lie, but I was young. So I was like, okay, cool. So he goes to college and immediately starts acting weird. So I instantly cut him off. Because I'm already like, I'm not tripping over no man that is begging me for gas money. It's not ever a thing. It's not going to ever be a thing. So fast forward, that's how we ended our situationship. Okay, so now what's going on now is that that's been years ago, but he still tries to follow me on Instagram and all that. And, and I didn't have an issue with it at first because he, he like he never really bothered me. And I saw that he would get in new relationships. And I was happy for him because I'm glad that whoever you're with is willing to give you gas money and willing to take you out. Like, I'm happy for you. So, I had no issue with, the, with us following each other because our thing didn't end on a really bad note. So, I really didn't care. But what I had an issue with is that this man... He was basically, um, he started getting a girlfriend and then he started following me and adding me to his close friends and posting him with like no shirt on and it was just giving very inappropriate vibes. And I guys, it's about to get dark because I'm going into a parking garage, but just keep listening. So, he was basically like adding me to social medias and knowing he has a girlfriend and I was just very weirded out so I unfollowed him on Instagram. So, I thought that was going to be that. And then after a couple of weeks, he started following me on other platforms such as Twitter. And then he starts following me on TikTok and Snapchat. And at this point, I'm just like, okay, you are weird. And you need to work on something because why do you have a full blown girlfriend that he's been with for about a year now? And he's posting her going on dates and they're doing this. But, but yeah, you still keep trying to do weird things. So. 
I was getting fed up because I would unfollow him on the apps and then he will follow me back and like and he will literally like every single thing that I will post and I'm just like what is wrong with you like stay off of my page like I feel like if you have a, a ex or somebody who you used to talk to and you're in a new relationship you should not still be talking to this person and still be entertaining this person so long story short um like i finally unfollowed him on, on everything and he he did it again right the day before valentine's day i told you today is the 15th he did this on february 13th where he literally liked every one of my, my stories not and my instagram photos not just my um stories but also my instagram photos so i was like okay that is so inappropriate it's the day before valentine's day and you're supposed to be spoiling your girlfriend you're supposed to be finding plans for you and your girlfriend and you're liking all of my stuff so i was fed up so what i did y'all tell me am i wrong what i did is i took screenshots of every single thing that he has done so all the adding me to his close friends um all of the, the the liking all my pictures all of the follow me on every single app hitting me up on twitter all of that i took screenshots and i sent them to his girlfriend yeah because it does not make any sense why this young woman thinks that y'all are in a committed relationship but you're out here obsessed with somebody that i like obsessed with with somebody that that you used to talk to back in 2019 that is strange and if you're doing that with me i know you're doing that with multiple other women so i some people may think that's coming to her as a woman but that's not coming to her as a woman because i don't want that man i'm just looking out for another woman because i don't know if she is aware of the things that her man is doing and before she went all out for valentine's day or did whatever she was gonna do i felt like she should know what her man be up to so she started watching my stories and stuff and she looked at my page i think she looked at my message i didn't really care if she responded back because i just wanted her to be aware of it i'm not trying to go back and forth with anybody but tell me am i wrong because i believe that women should know if they're getting cheated on or their man is just doing inappropriate things because that's what i would want to know if my man was out here doing stuff like that please tell me y'all tell me if my man was out here on your page adding you to his close friends because i would be breaking up with him the very next day but look but i don't mind if she decides to be with that man that is fine i just feel like that's stuff that she should be aware of so y'all tell me am i wrong for that if i'm if i'm wrong then i'll take the fault but if i'm not then hey but i'll talk to y'all later all right guys i made it to campus i got me some McAllisters. now on the way to study and y'all have so much to do i am just dreading reading all these chapters but i gotta do what i gotta do at least i get to eat <laughs> all right see y'all later <laughs> so i'm just now leaving campus it's 8 p.m y'all i've been there all day and the school just uploaded my mental health um study guide so i started working on that but i didn't get as much done as i wanted to because each question just takes a lot of work so i'm gonna try to work on it a little bit more when i get home tomorrow morning i have my first peds lab so that's exciting i'm trying to vlog a little bit of that if i can and then today me and my friend just signed up for a narcan training so that's gonna be real fun so that's on friday at 11. so i'm excited i start back working on friday so i gotta work friday saturday sunday and then um hopefully i finish the study guys so that i can just study at work and then take my mental health exam on tuesday so that's what i hope for but i will vlog at home if anything happens if not i'll see y'all in the morning bye good morning guys so i am on the way to my kids lab it is 7 30 in the morning my lab doesn't start till 9 but i wanted to give myself time to go get breakfast and look over some material before i go out to lab so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring y'all to my breakfast and this time i'm going to the school breakfast and my school has a good cafeteria so we're gonna see what they got today and y'all come with me all right guys i'm on the way to campus but um i wanted to let you guys know that today is february 16th and it's kind of a rough day for me because today makes two years since my father passed away a lot of y'all may not know that because i don't want to talk about it too often but in 2021 my father passed away he's only 50 years old from a heart attack so it's just kind of a rough day because like 
just February in general is a rough month because my granddad passed away on February 1st back in 2013 and then my dad passed away also in February so this month tends to be like really hard for me but I try to push through and just stay busy so that I don't start getting too emotional but I always tend to get emotional around today so today is kind of gloomy it's not really like the um the brightest day but it does feel pretty good outside but I'm just happy that I am doing the things that I know my dad would have wanted me to do and I'm just accomplishing goals and I know he's happy he's looking over me and my siblings so if you guys would just pray for me um, and make sure that you guys are also safe if you guys have any lost loved ones I pray for you guys and yeah Hey guys, I got some pancakes, sausage, eggs, hash browns, and cheese grits, and an iced coffee, so I'm going to eat real quick and then go ahead to my lab. I got me some braids and I got me some hearts. Started rocking the sleeve, I can't buy with no jobs. You know how I do it, can cause on my toe. Oh, this is oh. I ain't rich yet, but you know I ain't broke up. So if I see it, I like it, but that from the start. Uh. I'm with some white girls and they love them the coca. Like they OT, double OT, like I'm KD, smoking OG. And you know me, and my two threes, and my gold teeth But you're smiling, but you see me from the nosebleed I'm the new three, and I change out to my new D Why did I have a song in pain? I got me some braids and I got me some hearts Started rocking the sleeve, I can't buy with no jobs you know how I do it, can cause on my toe This is hard Oh I ain't rich yet, but you know I ain't broke up So if I see it, I like it, but that from the start uh. I'm with some white girls and they love them the coca Like they OT Double OT, like I'm KD, smoking OG And you know me Two threes and my gold teeth Bitch, you're smiling, but you see me from the nosebleed I'm the new three and I change out to my new D Why did I have a song? Guys, look what I just got I'm officially a part of the iPad girlies Y'all, I've been wanting an iPad because I told y'all I'm more of a hands-on writer But I've been recently wanting an iPad and I just got me one, so I'm so excited, y'all. This is gonna really, really help me with school and vlogs and stuff like that. So, yay, I'm gonna do a little cute unboxing, but this is my iPad. I'm gonna have to get the iPad pin later because the place that I went to get them, they didn't have them. So I'm gonna have to go and get the iPad pin later, but this is so cute, I'm excited. Okay, guys, this is my iPad. I think this is the ninth generation. All right, guys, I got my new iPad. I am so excited, y'all. I gotta get the pen, but I've been playing on it all night and I'm just loving it. Like, I should have been getting me an iPad, but thank God I got this thing now so I can start doing my work, studying on it, and then I can like bring it to work and I have to bring all them bags and all them like, um, books and the, just all the things that I was bringing was starting to get ridiculous. I feel like keeping stuff on a cute little iPad is simple. So I'm going to get my pen soon so I can start writing my notes and stuff on there. But yeah, I forgot to update y'all. I haven't really talked to y'all all day, but I went to my peds lab this um, morning and y'all, when I tell you the weirdest thing happened to me, I, I don't know what it is. But like, why do people keep trying to bother me? Like, when I'm only bothering nobody, people keep trying to bother me. So, this morning, so our peace lab was really, really good. Like, we were, um, 
like pretty much all we were doing was weighing the babies like like trying to listen to their heart rates um practicing assessments just stuff like that right so like they had us paired up in groups of three everything was cool so then at the end of the peds lab we practiced um drawing up some meds like some pediatric doses and meds and then they had already told us to bring a piece of paper bring some notes and like bring like a notebook and a piece of paper so you can start writing anything that you need to know and i always do that so throughout the lab i'm writing notes and stuff just of stuff that, that the teacher is saying about the head to toe assessment on babies whatever so this random girl in my lab and she's really like suspicious y'all like to me and one of my friends we feel like they be like her and her friends be on some like cheating scheming i don't know but in nursing school like y'all will start to see that there there are certain people that don't do their work and they try to get answers from other people they try to cheat their way through nursing school and that is just not right because this is the type of field where you actually need to know what you're learning in school because you're taking care of somebody's lives and integrity is so important when you're in a academic program like nursing. So I don't play that cheating or trying to ask me for answers, any of that, I don't play that. So, and honestly, like, like if depending on, because like notes and stuff are technically not considered cheating, but when you're dealing with people that are suspicious and maybe doing funny stuff, I just wouldn't risk giving people anything that can potentially get you kicked out of nursing school right so um so as soon as our lab had ended i was packing up my books and stuff and she came over and was like hey hey let me take a picture of those notes that you took um and the answers to the lab stuff and i was like no like who are you and why would you come up to me asking me for pictures of my work that i worked on and I was the only one in the lab taking notes and y'all had pieces of paper, y'all had no paper. So y'all could have easily took the same notes that I took. So no, ma'am. And I'm just like, the audacity of people is really crazy to me, y'all. Like the audacity is insane. So I was just like so offended. I'm like, no, what, what, why would you think that, you're, that, that I have to give you my notes? Like that doesn't work like that. So I politely declined and she was looking really, really stupid after I confronted her. I was like, don't ask me for that again. And mind you, it was another incident with the same lady when I was in pharmacology. And one time I was just um like writing my notes because I told you I handwrite all my notes. So like we were in pharmacology and the teacher, he said something and like, you know how teachers be like, y'all pay attention to this because it's going to be on a test. So he said something. And honestly, I didn't even catch what he said. I was going to ask him later on because I kind of zoned out. But I was in the middle of writing something else. And she came up to me. She was like, what did the teacher say? Because I saw you writing it down. And I was like, I honestly, I don't know. And she was like, well, I saw you writing notes. And I'm just like, why are you watching me writing notes? Like, I was about to spaz out. I was like, go ask him. Ask the teacher. Why are you asking me? Like, I'm not your personal note taker. Who do you think this is? Like, y'all, be careful when you're in nursing school or, or just any program. Be careful with people that are just leeches that want to cheat off you. And I know some people get into that and they don't care about people cheating on them. But I feel like you're paying for college. You're doing all this work. Why would you be giving away all your work for free? That doesn't even make any sense. Like, it's crazy, especially allowing people to cheat off of you when they could potentially have people's lives in their hands. That's just crazy. So, y'all, um, just be safe out here, y'all, because it's getting really weird. It's getting really weird, but I'm about to go to sleep because tomorrow I have my Narcan training and then I have to work this weekend. So, tomorrow I'll probably end the vlog, but bye, guys. Hey, y'all. Okay, so today is Friday and I'm on the way to work. So I want to update y'all, I never got a chance to go to the Narcan training because me and my friend both woke up and we just was not feeling good. Like my nose was feeling stuffy and I just couldn't do it. So I rescheduled the Narcan. So I'm going to do that another time because they have multiple um, classes all throughout the year. So me and her are going to do that later. 
but I am on the way to work. It's about five, so I'm gonna pick up my lunch and then I have to do a three day stretch and then I'm off for five again. So I'll be back with another vlog next week and y'all bye.